rotations. So we've learned about a few different transformations. We've talked about um, translations, which is a slide. We've talked about reflections, which if we think about um, we're in our mirror, and both of those transformations create new images that are congruent to the original. So they're exactly the same size and they're the same shape. All the sides are the same, have corresponding sides to corresponding sides, and angles have corresponding matches in the other, in the new image. Today we're going to talk about um, a third type of transformation known as a rotation. So if you think about um, your tires on the car, they rotate. If you think about the hands of a clock, they rotate also. And we're going to talk about the uh, two things when we talk about, uh, three things when we talk about rotations. We're going to talk about um, where the center point is of rotations. We're going to talk about which direction and how far we're going to be rotating. So our rotations, a rotation or a turn, is a transformation in which a figure is rotated about a point called the center of rotation. So that's where we kind of, if we put our finger and hold it, that's what it rotates around. The number of degrees a figure rotates is the angle of rotation. And we also want to talk about um, which direction a figure will rotate also. Um, so as far as angle of rotation, we're going to talk about as in a circle. So the most it can rotate is 360 degrees. It'll be right back to where it started. Uh, and we'll also talk about direction if we think about the hands of a clock. So if we think about the hands of the clock, the way the hands of the clock go from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, that's clockwise. And if we go the other direction, 12 o'clock to 11 o'clock to 10 o'clock to 9 o'clock, that's our counterclockwise. So the first thing we're going to do is just recognize some of our, our rotations here. So first, tell whether the blue figure is a rotation of the red figure. So I've started here with the red figure. Here's my center of rotation. Um, so I'm trying to imagine that if this was the center and this was, stay, say, maybe stuck to a popsicle stick or was stuck to the hand of, hands of your clock, could I rotate it and get this figure here? So if I imagine this, this red figure coming up and around this way, yes, I could get this figure from a rotation. Um, it's the same size. It's the same shape. Um, I wouldn't have to pick it up off the paper. It could get, just get rotated around. So for my first one, we have a yes. My second one, if I try to rotate that around this center of origin, you'll notice that if I rotate it this way, this arrow should be facing down when I get to this side. So this one is not a rotation. This is actually more of a reflection over that, over a line of reflection. So more of a reflection because it's going a different direction. All right, let's try a rotation. So we're going to start by talking about rotations around the origin. So, whoops, I'm back. So um, we can rotate around um, a few different centers of rotation, and we're going to focus on two of them. Today we're just going to focus on rotating around the origin. So we're on a coordinate plane. We're um, remembering that our origin is the center where the two axes meet each other. So that is our center of um, our origin. That's going to be our center of rotation. We have the vertices of a triangle are A, negative 4, 1, B, negative 1, 6, and C, negative 1, 1. So the first thing I did was I graphed those points on my coordinate plane. I made sure I labeled the vertices of my pre-image. Remember, this is the image we're starting with, so it's my pre-image. Uh, rotate the triangle 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So remember, we're going to talk about three things. How far, which direction, and what is the center of our origin? So we've already talked about the center of our, uh, center of our rotation is our origin. So this is where we the middle of our rotation is. Which direction? We're going to go clockwise. So we're going to go like we're going the hands of a clock. So, so 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, and we're only going to go 90 degrees. So if you think about your right angle, most of the ones we'll do, we'll focus on some uh, variation of 90 degrees. 90, 180, um, 270 you might see because that's 390s. Um, or 360 all the way around. Uh, so what are the coordinates of the image? So we're looking for the coordinates of that new figure when we're done with it. So we're going to be working uh, in class with what we call patty paper. Um, if you've ever gotten a whole bunch of hamburger patties for a barbecue, there's a little piece of, a uh, square piece of thin paper in between the hamburg patties. Um, it's called patty paper, P-A-T-T-Y. We're going to be working with that in class. I've got, I've got a larger version of this here um, for what we're going to do. 
So what I've done is I've taken my coordinate plane, I've put my paper on top of it, and I've traced my coordinate plane. So I've just traced my axes and my center of origin on there. And then I traced my three points. So here's A, here's B, and here's C from my, my pre-image. They want us to do 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise, I'm gonna turn my paper clockwise 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is gonna be one, kind of turn the paper once this way. And what this is gonna do for me is it's gonna let me see what the, the new figure should look like. So here I can see that A now is gonna be at the top of my figure, B is gonna be over here on the right, and C will be down here on the left. So this gives me an idea of what my ordered pairs are going to be also. So I'm gonna take a minute here and see what the new ordered pairs are. So from here, A is now going to be at one, and then one, two, three, four, five, uh, no, sorry, my ordered pair is off here. A is gonna be at one, four. So this is gonna be at one, four. B is gonna be out here at six, one. And C is here at one, 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 one. Okay, so that gives me an idea of where my new ordered pair should be. And I know that when I, when I, when I draw my new figure, it's gonna be here in the first quadrant, and A should be up at the top. So I can take my patty paper off, and I'm gonna use those ordered pairs that I just came up with. I'm not gonna hold them into the, the, the movie as we're doing this. So A should be at one, four. So I'm gonna come over here, up to one, four. Here is my A. B is at six, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one. Here is my B. Oh, this is B prime, A prime and B prime, because these are the new figures. And C is at one, one. So here is my C prime. And then I can connect those together to get my new figure. So A prime was at one, four. B prime was out here at six, one. And C prime was at one, one. So those are my new coordinates, which is what they wanted us to do. And I have seen what my, what my figure looks like. And notice it's just like when I rotated that paper. When I rotated the paper, I could see, oh, now it's over here. And that center point here, my center of origin, stayed the same for both of those. So in the original and in the new one, that's kind of, that center stayed the same for both. So three things when we're rotating. We want to know um, what's the center of origin. That's super important. Which direction are we going to go in and how far are we going to go?